the the problem that is occurring is in by making a more compliant military what and 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 purposely doing this in order to make us more acceptable uh, on the world scene and not appearing to be the badasses on the scene uh, in in the world uh, it has made us become uh, more of a uh, less able to uh, carry out national security uh, uh, responsibilities. And as a consequence, we're cutting back tremendously uh, in our military today. And, and as a result, it, it is prompting countries such as China and Russia and other uh, wannabes, uh, superpower wannabes, to fill that, to fill that uh, power vacuum. Uh, around the world. And what we're seeing is that as a result, countries such as Japan, Korea, countries that we have uh, uh, alliances with and, and to, to protect are saying, well, we can no longer trust the United States to protect us. And we're going to go, we're going to go our own way. And as a result, I then go in their own way with Japan and, 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 and um, uh, Korea, for example, with the industrial capability to go nuclear and to build up their own military independent of our protection, it creates a more dangerous environment worldwide as a result. And so this is, what, this is going to be the consequence of what we're seeing. They can no longer rely upon us and the protections we've been giving them, and, 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 and which, which has actually helped us in, our, in terms of our national security, and it's creating for a more unstable world as a result. And so what you're saying is people are afraid to even ask questions or say anything, a bunch of robots, and then basically morale falls apart, and then everybody just basically sits in a corner uh, and just salutes the dear leader. Well, as they, as they go up in the, in the political, uh, as they go up in the office of core, uh, approaching colonel, general, and what have you, it becomes much more political. And as a result, they're, gonna, they're just going to stand up and salute. And that's just going to weigh, weigh uh, and that's how they're going to be able to succeed. It becomes much more politicized. The officer corps has become much more politicized because they want to, they want to be able to uh, please the dear leader and be able to uh, 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 advance as a consequence. But what does it create for us? It, it creates a, 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 a hollow uh, fighting force as a consequence, along with other issues that are, that have, and uh, brought into the... Um, Let me throw a curveball, and then we're going to come back and get into your book and the EMP, the big issue. What do you sure. make of the peace deals with Iran? And I'm all for not having a war uh, with Iran and Syria. But then Iran has their top generals say, we have sleeper cells in the U.S. And I went and checked it. He, he actually said that. And then they send mm -hmm. ships over. Why would they engage in provocations when they started getting what they wanted? Because they've read what I just said. They, they read that we're weak, we're not going to do anything, just like the United States didn't do anything towards Syria. Uh, and and, uh, and uh, Obama has uh, made, the, made the point that we're going to negotiate. As a consequence, the, the leadership in, in uh, Tehran have, have read those uh, tea leaves, and they see that uh, we're not going to do anything as a consequence. And so they're going to fill that back. And plus, you've got to keep in mind, this is all coming out on the... Uh, what is this? The uh, the twenty thirty uh, fifth anniversary of the uh, uh, Iranian Revolution was in nineteen seventy nine. So uh, there's a lot of uh, bravado that is that is going on right now as well. But we but you're right. We've seen uh, 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 expressions of this in the in the past uh, few weeks, in, in which uh, they're, they're they're threatening, and uh, even though they're trying to get us to convince us that we need to uh, lessen sanctions and to uh, open up to them, and, uh, and, and and again, it's just for posturing purposes. And uh, the United and they know the United States isn't going to do anything about it. Don't you think, at some level, it could be a suckering Iran in? I mean, is Iran really stupid enough to think it's going to help them to put ships off our coast? Well, they'll go ahead and put the ships off the coast, but. Uh, uh, again, it's it's for show force. It's, oh, I know it's a complete <laughs> joke. I mean, obviously it's a joke. It's just why it just seems uh, it's just crazy. That's that's all I can say. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to do it. Uh, they'll probably use countries in the Latin America for basing. Uh, but but it, again, it's it's a show. It's a show, and uh, they know the United States isn't going to do anything about it. All right, Michael Malouf, stay there. We're going to come back and get into your new book, which I just got. I haven't read it yet. I can't wait to read it because the more I research, this EMP threat is the real deal. 
and we're going to look at different angles and, and how serious it could be and ways to protect against EMP. Straight ahead, one of the senior writers at World Net Daily. Huge Mountain House Sale at Emergency Essentials. Right now, get 25% off every can. Go to BePrepared.com for the guaranteed lowest price you'll find anywhere. Mountain House freeze-dried meals are famous for their proven 25-year shelf life, delicious flavors, and easy preparation. This month only, save 25% on over 30 Mountain House varieties. For the best selection, call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. You've been hearing about the amazing benefits of heart and body extract for many years. Now, hear from the co-founder. My name is Tony Knudsen, and I am the co-founder of Heart and Body Extract. We've been in business for over 13 years now. With thousands of satisfied customers who have experienced the amazing benefits but never experienced a price hike. We've kept consistent pricing the whole entire time. The company's been in business and will continue to do so. Call today for Heart and Body Extract, 866-295-5305, or visit hbextract.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. From 1946 to 1989, during the period known as the Cold War, the enemies of freedom sent teams into their own citizens' homes in order to place listening devices and cameras. They tracked the movements and personal relationships of anyone they could in order to preserve the power of the state. 25 years later, you carry a tracking beacon with you and bug your own homes with your cell phone. History is repeating itself. Tear down this wall. Go to privacycase.com today and get a privacy case. Let's protect ourselves from this high-tech iron curtain that is trying to crush our right to privacy. The American-made privacy case uses military-grade shielding technology to stop these criminals and thieves in their tracks. Go to privacycase.com today and use coupon code GCN for 10% off. Privacycase.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Maloof was not only a senior advisor at the Pentagon for more than two decades, he also um, worked at uh, the U.S. Senate and Department of Defense. Uh, Maloof was a special correspondent for the Detroit News, a reporter for the specialized newsletter U.S. News and World Report, and Washington correspondent for the uh, Union Leader in Manchester, New Hampshire. 
He is the author of the new book, A Nation Forsaken, EMP, The Escalating Threat of an American Catastrophe from World Net Daily Books. This is a short segment, Michael, long segment coming up, but uh, you've got the floor. Let's break down uh, the EMP threat. And I know most people understand what an EMP is, but maybe start at the beginning and break down what your book covers. Well, my book is called A Nation Forsaken because uh, the federal government has failed to uh, undertake the, uh, on a national priority basis, the action to harden our facilities against either a natural or a man-made electromagnetic pulse. And an electromagnetic pulse is a, is a supercharged uh, form of energy from X-rays to gamma rays to, uh, and to, to uh, other forms of, uh, of, uh, uh, of radio, radio uh, technologies that, that can actually uh, uh, knock, out, knock out our national grid system and also, by doing so, affect our um, uh, other critical infrastructures uh, on which our modern society relies. I mean, these life, and I'm talking about life-saving uh, infrastructures that we that we have come to know and, and expect uh, in this day and age, uh, such as our food delivery, our telecommunication, our banking system. Uh, they're all predicated on the use of the uh, electrical grid, and the electrical grid is very vulnerable today. There are three grids in the United States: uh, Eastern, Western, and the Texas grid. And all of them uh, are, are very vulnerable. The, the eastern grid uh, handles 70 percent of the U.S. population. So, if a natural uh, uh, phenomenon from a, from a solar flare, for example, were to hit, uh, it would cause some very widespread uh, damage uh, that could actually uh, have have an impact for years. Uh, for example, NASA uh, has suggested that it could cost upwards of two trillion dollars in the first year if we had a direct hit from a solar flare, and we're in that cycle right now where we can expect these uh, solar flares to hit. In addition, in addition, it would also uh, affect uh, about 90 percent of the U.S. population, and we're talking the about the urban population. And when I say affect, that means death and starvation. Also, it could would, would affect a minimum of 350 of our large transformers, and we only have about 1,500 of them, and they 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 are they they are almost impossible to re replace on a, on a normal basis. You, and we don't even make them here; we we have to get them from overseas. And so, all of our critical infrastructures uh, would be affected. There would be a cascading effect, uh, even if a portion of the grid is knocked out. It will be, have a widespread effect across the across the nation in terms of our food delivery, our water delivery, uh, just transportation, our automated control systems, uh, everything that we just take for granted that runs automatically from our pumping stations to our banking system. That's all automated. But all those would be knocked out, and that's what we would be facing. And this is what uh, now the the, the man-made would be from a high-altitude nuclear explosion. And nations with a missile and a and a, and a uh, nuclear device and a, and a will to wreak havoc can do that. And uh, you can also uh, do it. I've read with a hot air balloon, right? Uh, theoretically, yeah, you could put uh, and even an orbiting satellite, a bomb. An orbiting satellite could be a, a bomb. And uh, it, and and this is what we've now seen the North Koreans uh, actually working on uh, rather assiduously is is orbiting. And, and which means that they they they, they, they were successful in orbiting a, a satellite, and that satellite could actually be a nuclear device. And we know that they've been working on a smaller nuclear device, which was poo pooed by our military. But in fact, it's actually a super EMP weapon that they're working on, according to my sources, which means it will emit greater gamma rays, which will have a far greater impact upon our uh, electrical grid and and, 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 any, and all of our electronic devices that are not protected. Now, I just got a, I just got off the phone with uh, with an Air Force guy, and he says, "Well, we we are we we're, we're protected to a point, but uh, but from a nuclear explosion, uh, he doubts very seriously that we would be that our electronics, which have been uh, uh, protected somewhat from a let's say a flare or a lightning strike, would be able to uh, be would protect us from a nuclear explosion, which is the the most the intense that you can get." Now, and you're the expert on this, but but uh, there were congressional hearings, I know, in the last few years, and mm -hmm. uh, I've seen numbers of $2 billion, $10 billion. Uh, How much would it cost to fix this? And, and then I want to expand into what it would look like if we got hit by a strong natural 
a solar flare or what would happen if, if there was a hydrogen bomb went off in the upper atmosphere. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio.